All right, I wanted to show you all something that I made after work today. This is this is it. It's an antenna to pick up uh, digital TV. And it's just made out of a piece of wood. And I, I found this on, uh, somebody had the design on a website. And they were testing somebody else's design. So I have no idea who initially designed it. But uh, uh, on their video, they had um, spacings that were about uh, five and three quarters or somewhere in that range. But I... I did mine about four and a half spacing and these are just bolts with uh, just the nut on the back and, and on what, what the wire is they were using coat hanger wire but this is much more bendable and easier to work with and I think the thinner the wire the better it works frankly from what I've uh, read and understood about uh, how uh, energy is passed through the atmosphere and signals are passed through the atmosphere so I thought this would be even better since I didn't have any uh, coat hangers to cut up uh, for one of the first times in my life probably because I cut them all up already for other projects and the ones that we have left are uh, <laughs> clothes are on so this is what I used uh, down here there's my Elvis Pez if you can see it I don't know anyway um, from a dollar store I got these uh, steel wire uh, rolls this was a dollar at the dollar store and there's the empty area where I took the roll off to make the antenna and these work really well uh, for this uh, sort of project and I'm very pleased with this project because uh, prior to this and I don't watch TV much, but when I do, and the Super Bowl is coming, I, I decided I'm going to, you know, I always had interruptions, especially on the most important plays. Everything would fail. You know, that's when you get the loss of signal. This thing here is the one that gave me loss of signal a lot of the time. It hasn't been very consistent, and it's a Phillips that I paid for, and there's another one in the other room that my uh, significant other, she uses. Uh, but this here plugs into the wall. So every time I use the antenna here, uh, uh, well, more money is going out of my pocket. And this thing is a joke. Yeah, it works. And I'm not trashing the company, but, uh, you know, truth is truth. So that's, you know, you just got to say it the way it is. This thing that I built after work today works way better than that much better a hundred times better and uh, almost every channel is a green signal depending on which uh, angle the channel is coming from some channels come from different areas apparently around here so that's why I set this up the way I did I was wondering after I made it how do I mount it so that I can adjust it easily and what I decided to do I happen to have an old uh, plant hanger and uh, I had some really solid uh, copper uh, electrical wire from a, an old electrical uh, unit that had been uh, taken apart. And, uh, and I, I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a bolt back here with a washer that's holding that on there. And, and that stays pretty steady. So as opposed to having it hang by a string or something else, uh, it would be better if it was outside, probably. Uh, but maybe wood wouldn't be the best idea outside. Uh, eventually it would deteriorate. But it works pretty well in the room. And I only had eight channels before. Now, after scanning uh, channels with this that I made today after work, I have twice the channels. I have 16 channels now. Which doesn't necessarily mean anything because half of them are cho shopping channels uh, or chopping channels, uh, I nearly said, but it's, uh, old karate movies and things like that. But uh, there, there, there it is. And I'll try to include the, the link to the video that uh, I uh, watched that got me uh, curious and, and decided, uh, made me decide I wanted to make this.
so let, let, let me just try to show you how it works now let me see I'm not gonna be able to see anything so I want to see what the orientation of the camera is if I hold it about here once I go to the TV let's get the remote here and I'll, I'll show you the uh, I don't know how good the quality of this is but I'll try to hold the camera steady here go to the input let's go to the antenna cable and I've been watching the Gonzaga game and yes they're winning 42 to 31 but let's just check the other channels now this is another channel with the Gonzaga game getting a fair amount of channels here and the signals are strong now some some channels come from differing um, angles so occasionally I'd have to uh, move the uh, antenna to a different uh, as a matter of fact I didn't uh, uh, move it back to the optimal place before I decided to show this so I'm gonna try to do that now uh, I noticed the best signal comes from that direction. I for, I neglected to do that, but here we go. I can't see what I'm doing Just since I'm on TV now, and I use my monitor as my TV screen as well as uh, TV when I actually decide to watch it. But it's looking pretty good. And again, I have eight more channels than I had before. Unfortunately, like QVC and HSN and things like that, but. Uh, you can see the how apparently is an amalgam of how well it works. Well, before we go, I have a very. What do you suppose? Well, back to the Gonzaga game, and uh, <laughs> I've, I'm just getting uh, full uh, green up in the up in the uh, left corner here, uh, which means strongest signal, and I never got that with this on nearly every channel only on some channels and that was drawing power out of my wall outlet that I had to pay for it. so if I'd have known how to do this prior I never would have bought that thing so anyway I hope that that uh, was interesting to you and um, uh, I'll try to share the link again uh, as I stated uh, uh, earlier uh, in relation to who initially shared the video